what's up gauge squad and welcome back to another let's play here on the ps4 pro we're playing horizon zero dawn in the last little let's play we ran around to one of the cauldrons and in this one we are going to progress the main story a little bit because i am almost completely out of quests i have this one side quest which i need to get one more power cell for which i think i can get up here in this next quest and then I have one more errand that I didn't want to run because it wasn't worth very much XP. So I'll get to that errand later on if I need it for the Platinum Trophy. I'll find a use for you. Pretty long run. I didn't have a fireplace that was, or campfire, or whatever the hell they're called, that was close enough, so I had to run from a, a pretty far distance. I ran from here, campfire, yeah, fireplace, outside fireplace. Oh, okay, it wants me to go up. Works for me. The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? Just to recap, I guess, where we're headed to, we're headed up to Gaia Prime in search of the Master Override. And this is indeed her only hope to defeat Hades. And so I will go ahead and assume that we do successfully defeat Hades. Calling it out now. This would indeed be a lot better if she would go up. There we go. Stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. So I did manage to finish all of the hunting grounds. I am done with all of. I got blazing sun on each one of them, and so I've got a couple of new sweet ass weapons. So the ones with the yellow here, with the gold trim, are worth the the rewards for getting a blazing sun in every trial and then i also got one of the silent outfits to allow me to sneak around a little bit better as it was kind of required for the trials so i should be able to just run around here without i mean i'll be seen it's not the best outfit but it's it's pretty good and i have an attachment on there that makes it a little bit better sure why that went off those things are actually really easy to beat um, I had to do I had to kill some of them for a blazing sun and I had to do it in like X amount of time and I found out a pretty easy way to beat them which I'll just kill them So, really the easiest way to do it is, is just like everything else in this fucking game. Just set it on fire and watch him die. Make this quick. Just keep the dodge up. My uh, fire bow is pretty freaking beastly now. And really, the other good way to do this is to get up in their grill and you knock them down and then you do a critical hit. Melee them a little bit more. Where is 
see. There we go. Ooh. Oh, come on, dang it. Maybe I can, and I'm just really stupid and haven't figured that out yet. Oh, that doesn't work. This will though. Hey, 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 asshole. Or they are indeed really, really weak to shock, so... Not too bad, I'm, I mean, it's pretty easy. Just kind of run around, kill the stuff I need to kill and be done with it. Anything around here, okay, there's a, campfire up here which will be helpful because I'm sure I'll have to come back to this area eventually oh come on there we go Do they think they're guarding Gaia? I doubt they think at all. More like an instinct. Gathering them to her grave. Wires are always good to have. Use those like more than any other crafting item in the game, it seems like. Okay. I'm not the sneakiest person, but I do okay now with this new gear. I mean, look at that. Easy peasy.
Come on. Come on, loot it. Oh, man. Worth it! No way, dude! No way, man! Ah, oh, fuck, I needed a... Fuck, fuck, fuck! 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 God damn it. Ugh. Son of a bitch. I needed that fucking skin. Oh my lord. I've been looking for one forever. Son of a bitch. Fuck me, right? Not, not tilted. Not even tilted. Fuck you, you fucking, you fucking piece of fucking shit. I got it. Now run. Okay. Ooh. That is good news. I can get the golden travel pack now. <laughs> good thing I have this gear on, otherwise I would have been seen, no doubt. Saving these for the trail. Um There it is. Sane. Screen's a little dark now. Heavy storm. Would indeed impair vision. Also, my will to live would be gone. Pretty goddamn cold. Light does me trouble. What? Come on, get up. Uh, knock some of its parts off here. What? Okay. Spoiler, it's too far away. arrows and these guys. <laughs>
on. I better have been the biggest guard we've got, Gaia. Okay. Why are you gonna make a comment like that? That usually means that there's going to be <laughs> foreshadowing involved. Good, I definitely needed more blaze. Um I think I, I think I'm doing okay. Actually, hold on a second. I think one of my weapons, yes, this one has a blue corruption thing on it. Which has but I don't really care about that. Oh look at this. Oh, well why not why don't I do that? Hmm. Oh, well, that's a pretty good. All right, that. good enough for me. Okay. So when you say that better be the biggest guardian you have, just tells me that there's going to be a bigger guardian. <laughs> This looks inviting. Just kidding. Nothing there. Except for this thing. Come on, loot it. There we go. Seems to be some light coming from there. Good God. Guy's sacrifice. <sighs> Did this. Cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg. Yes, yes. Quickly now. I prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. Why? I, I still don't know why he would make a climbing path. I mean... Down. Look down. It's like, is it, what, is she like incapable of climbing on her own or something? I don't know. Whatever. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in Meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. 
In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... ...after seeing the damage, how could that be? She said... ...any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... ...convenient. But... ...do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? You know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle... ...it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years. And we're counting the time we have left by the hour. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Let's do it! We're so good at this game! Yeah. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sovax. You are clear to proceed. Alright. While we're here, gotta find the power cell. And look at these things while we're at it. Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they incubate it, hon. She's still firing Mind up. Mind your footing. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You'd think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice. We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? You can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that... I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, <laughs> you will. You what, 30? Rick, can you be the one turning the lights off at the end? Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. That was very encouraging. Here we go. Oh, I thought we'd be dropping a lot further than that. Never mind. Guess that's my way across. Yes. This should be the yes. last I need to get to that ancient armor I found. Booyah, bitches! Booyah! Ancient armor time. At a later time. What the <clears throat> hell? Do I go up there? Seems to be like grab holds all the way up there. Huh. I 
guess not. Even though I should be able to grab onto that right there. Um. Huh. Well then. Okay, I give up. Let's move on. Whoa, shit. It's, uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well... Don't answer. <laughs> oh, glad that's over. No. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad that's all the further it was. And there's just like all kinds of stuff in this game. Like, what the fuck's up here? The way I'm supposed to go. Okay. Let's not go up there yet. What is in here? Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. This just looks like a, a place to look, <laughs> not actually where I'm supposed to go. So let's skip that. Wish I could get more of the data logs or something. This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. faces under a blank open sky I told them the world ended with a bang a plague of robots the last humans we went out not with a whimper but a whisper you know in caves ending like we started huddled around a flickering glow the heads of state the fortune fives the leaders and lottery winners and life cults all of them buried in their little shelters some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. And none of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp for the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet, a barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Pake I'd be with him when he went under. 
but there was one last shipment of parody Saiyaji zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had... Elizabeth's room. Ah, oh, shit. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a ten millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Not what I signed up for. Either we send someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm, I'm no good at endings, at letting things end, so, um, let's not. So? Happy trails, Liz. And uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Goodbye. So, do I get that armor? I want that armor. That armor that was, was bad. The last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, what up, Silence? Alive. She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Eloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. 
While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. Whoa, there's a lot of, uh, things here, but we'll listen to him. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh, <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. <sighs> Look, Liz. You were a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. If I had to try to express all your children, after all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything, but they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much, with an intensity that was dazzling, bruising, and in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. <sighs> I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobeck is only one. I miss you. Sorry, I'm like... Her? <laughs> My bad? So... Aw, okay. Aha, I win. What up, supplies? Why couldn't I leave Blaze? Well, we'll fix that. When in doubt, just craft a bunch of stuff. You never know when you're gonna get room. Let's start 
Tova from Eruthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein. May I seek outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I, no. It is... natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator, the patron saint of this crazy endeavor, our lady of the fervent hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. Hmm. It's called a manner of speech, Gaia. Take a note. <laughs> like how him and the AI, AI just argue. <clears throat> Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um, Dr. Onsen, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Margo, oh, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon cuckoos. What can he do? What are we gonna plug into their heads, Liz? A whole lot of history. A whole lot of so-called truth. A whole, a whole lot of noise. It's not pablum, Liz. It's poison. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armed. Oh god. We found the control room. I'm on my way. Oh, there's gotta be a big ass monster I have to fight through to be able to actually get there. I just noticed that there was an area down there, so I'm going to go look for loot. And, of course, do a barrel roll off of a cliff. Okay. This is going. Continue. Huh. 
We must adventure first. What's over here? Hey. This is the area I was trying to get to earlier. All right, cool. Coo coo ka choo. <laughs> Those are, uh, those are dead people. Why? When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. So, they killed themselves. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. Okay. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us, those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted. We've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're going to give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice... Ted. It doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged the what? Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Oh. Fucking Ted Faro, man. Fuck that guy. Oh. Fucking Ted Faro. He killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, he evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we are living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Master Override. It's so small. 
Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. That's it. That's all I gotta do. Just kill Hades with it. No problem. No problem, fam. Can I go in here now? Thank you. Damn it, I want to be able to get... Alright. Grrr. Okay. Okay. Let's just... I don't use hardly any sparker at all. I don't need 5,000 of it. I need more blaze. supposed to go this dude is a legit ass chug all right so I need to get back up there How that is done is not very clear at the given moment. Okay. Am I blind? Seems to happen a lot to me in this fucking game. Alright, what the fuck? This way? Oh god. There it is. Jeez. It's so weird. You like find like another way that's like, oh hey, you should be able to go this way, but magically you cannot. Whatever. journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire, not Meridian, the Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva, its code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems, 
Hades wants to send a new transmission. To wake the machines, so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse... The robots they've resurrected... They're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So, yes. It was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides... I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> A thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. 
So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps, but basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. That's right. Let's attach this bitch and be done with it for this episode. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. There it is. We recovered a powerful weapon. Okay, that's it for this episode. We're going to start the next episode listening to that thing right there. So this is right where the next episode will take off. We're going to listen to all of these guys, and then we're going to continue on to the next portion of the main story. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, squad, later. <laughs>